Hi. <laughs> yes, uh, you are from uh, um, where? and all of our patient care at Wilmot there in Danceville at Noyes, as well as all of our other Wilmot Oncology locations. And I think you may have spoken today about an appointment with Dr. Brian Smith. Oh, yes. Mom? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. So I just wanted to call and help facilitate that and get, get an appointment together quickly for your mom. Okay. Um, so I thought I would start with you. It's my understanding, um, correct me where I go wrong, and again, my name's Heather. Um, that your mom has cervical cancer and that she's had now two recurrences, right? Well, um, she had a, a cervical cancer and um, they did a hysterectomy. Uh, they took everything out, ovaries, everything. And then uh, in 1998, uh, the cancer came back uh, on the walls of the pelvis. So um, we got her um, one of the best three surgeons uh, in the country, and uh, he removed the cancer. Um, and he said to follow up. Um, I don't remember his name. Uh, I have the record. Um, I know that he retired because he was like um, 80 years old. Um, okay. And he said that she needed to follow up uh, every three or six months. Um, and uh, the cancer is not supposed to have come back. But now uh, she is full of tumors. She has uh, tumors in her thyroid, um, tumors um, in other parts of her body. Her pancreas is uh, a problem. Uh, she has problems in her kidneys, and now uh, she has problems in her uh, right lung. She has a cancerous tumor okay. there that's growing, okay. and she needs treatment uh, right away. The uh, emergency um, room doctor told me that she needs uh, treatment yesterday. So that's right. why yeah. uh, I made yeah. the appointment uh, with Dr. Smith, yeah. but I have to drive three hours from where she lives, uh, to his office, so I was wondering if it was possible, uh, if, it, it was, if it was not out of the, this world for him to see her whenever he goes right. to the hospital to see other patients, because I know he sees other patients there all the time uh, in Danceville. And uh, I told uh, Patty that, you know, I, I'll, I'll do his laundry, I'll uh, do his lawn, I'll do, I'll maybe see his children, uh, but uh, I need that uh, big favor. And I asked Party uh, if she knew if uh, there was special equipment in the other, in the other office uh, that he needs for the first appointment, and she said no. Um, so I don't think it's going to be very uh, difficult for uh, Dr. Smith. I, I, in fact, I think it's not going to be difficult at all, at all uh, for him to see her when he sees all the patients uh, at the uh, hospital, uh, the cancer center, because I know he goes there all the time. Okay, so um, Dr. Brian Smith goes to Danville on Mondays only, and he's at Pluta. Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and he's even farther away well in Wellsville on Wednesday. So I just wanted to share a little bit of thinking and get your opinion because clearly, I mean, absolutely, you know your mom the best and you know your mom wishes the best. Um, we cannot get an appointment with Dr. Smith next Friday because there's already so many patients on the schedule and I don't want to cause any delays. So, um, we do have another doctor, Dr. Richard Moore. He specializes in GYN, the gynecologic cancers like cervical cancer. And I can get her in faster to see him. And he is a true specialist. And given that she's got this recurrence, and now that she has these, all these other problems, she might be eligible. I don't know for sure, but she might be eligible for a clinical trial. And so if Dr. Smith thought that, he would refer her over to Dr. Moore anyway. And so I don't want to waste any time. And I really want to encourage you to think about uh, getting in to see Dr. Moore. And I can help you do that really quickly. 
uh, Dr. Moore is is uh, is uh, an oncologist, gynecologist. You said he's an oncologist who specializes. Yes, he's a cancer doctor who specializes in gynecologic cancer. So he's an oncologist and a, a GYN specialist. Okay, and you yes. said that you know him that uh, he's at the cancer de uh, center in Danville. So Dr. Moore is not in Danville. He's in Rochester. But if your mom wants treatment for, for you know, this next phase, if she really wants to pursue treatment, mm -hmm. I would really recommend Dr. Moore because he's going to have more options mm -hmm. to treat her than Dr. Smith would in Danville because she may qualify for a clinical trial. And that way she could get more, she has more options for treatment. And since he's the specialist in that, I think we could get you in to see him faster and we wouldn't waste any time because I agree we need to move quickly and and uh, you know I would hate for you to see Brian Smith and Brian Smith say oh you really need to go see Dr. Moore when we could have gotten you there in the first place so he is at um, Highland Hospital in Rochester that's where the, the gynecologic the GYN specialty is and um, she could be treated right there it's easy to get to from the expressway from Lima mm -hmm. um, so I just wanted to get your opinion of it. Is there any way I could encourage and help facilitate you, you getting your mom to see Dr. Moore since that's her specialty? Yes. What concerns uh, do you have about that? Uh, I think that it would be best uh, for uh, her to see Dr. Smith, and I'll tell you the reason. The reason is that she had a cervical cancer. It, was, it came back a second time. Uh, and the uh, surgeon that uh, operated on her was uh, one of three best in the whole country. He said that right. he removed everything that he wasn't, he wasn't supposed to come back um, uh, anymore. And he came back and now she has lung cancer. So if, you, right. if she uh, still was getting something down there, I would say go with Dr. Moore. But since it's lung cancer, and I spoke to different um, uh, professionals who know Dr. Smith, they recommended uh, him. So I would prefer to see him if it was at all possible. Okay, so if you do want to proceed with Dr. Smith, then you need to know an appointment will probably be over two weeks away. You said um, that, that might have to be in Wellville on a Wednesday. I don't know if you have travel issues. Uh, I'm concerned about speed. He's away this week, and his schedule is already full next week. Um, He'll be in Danville on Monday. She had an appointment with him uh, that. Um, the girl with black um, hair gave her, and uh, Miss Yatinka. Oh, she said it was for the. Was it a Monday or? Hmm. Well, I cannot find it. It's in, on, in her file. I have to open her file. It's in my computer. Anyways, so but just give her the soonest that you can. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can work something out. Uh, and um, okay. your call's uh, starting to break up. I'm sorry. Yes. So you want to still try to see Dr. Smith, even though the lung cancer may have come from the might be a metastasis from the the first cancer. Um, I, I'm not sh too sure. Um. Because, as I said, the one that operated on her the second time was one of the best yeah. three in the country. And he said well, that he removed everything. All, so, yeah, I, I can understand that thought. But we can never, with cancer, and that's, that's challenging. That was in 1998. So the lung cancer might be a new cancer. Um, might be new. Okay, so, I'm sorry, what was the date that she said that you might be able to see Dr. Smith? She said um, the 4th of... Um, May, I believe. May 4th. That's in Wellsville. Are you okay, okay going all the way to Wellsville? If, if I have to drive her, then I'll have to drive her. Uh, I was just wondering okay. if it was uh, possible uh, to see him in Danceville. Okay. Um, but well, if I have to drive her, then, then I'll have no other choice. Okay. I'm, I'm missing 
a couple of words here. The phone's breaking out. I'm so sorry if that's my phone. Um, so May 4th in Wellsville, mm -hmm. um, we will see. I will see if we can make that stick, okay? And yes. And I'll give you a call back. Okay. Uh, thank you so much. Okay. And what's your name? Okay. It's Heather. Thank you so much, your Heather. Last name is, you're, you're welcome. I will call you back. And we'll let me let me give you my right? cell phone number because uh, I'm all the time at my cell phone number, but I'm not too sure that I'm, I'm at this number. Uh, so my okay. cell phone number is 914-619-2000. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, so that's 914-619-8362. Yes, correct. Okay. All right, sounds good. I appreciate that. So we'll talk again soon. Okay, should I expect your call today or, or uh, tomorrow? Uh, probably tomorrow, probably oh. tomorrow. Okay, in the morning or in the afternoon? Up to call back? Mm-hmm. Uh, probably the afternoon. Okay, I'll, I'll uh, be uh, waiting by the phone. Uh, waiting for the call. Thank you so very much, if, Freda. If you, yeah, if you don't hear from me tomorrow afternoon, if, at this point, plan on May 4th, and if that has to change, we'll definitely call you back, okay? And don't hesitate to call us. Okay, thank you much. Bye-bye. Okay, all right, thanks.